Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Bandicow where um, I've done a bit of off-screen work. Um, I got bored over the last couple of days, because it has been a few days since I recorded. Um, I got bored and basically decided I was going to go ham on... Um, I was going to try and get as much of this field done as I could. And most of it is done now. Actually, most of it's not done, but a decent amount of it's done. And um, we've been selling off the straw. But I think it might be time to um, try a different um, thing. thing. Um, a different strategy. Is that, that is the word I was looking for, was strategy. Um, up until now, I've been buying all of my vehicles. That's kind of what everyone does in Farm Sim, because it's the default way of getting vehicles. Um, I've actually downloaded the mod, what you can use to mod, um, the vehicle well, machinery rental mod. So what I can do, if I really want to, is um, actually rent a bailer. I'm not going to right now, I think. But I may rent a bigger thing with the thingies. Um, I'm going to just check. I know how to launch the... Uh, Mod, but I want to check in the default thing, 240. And mm, now I'm gonna stick with this. Um, I'm gonna stick with this forage wagon for the time being. And we finished up over here. Or I did, anyway. You weren't here for this. I finished up over here somewhere with the forage wagon. I'm just gonna continue on from where that off. The harvester's now doing lines because I got bored of going around in circles. Um, okay, so that hooks up to there, so it should be... I am literally going on what's the most square version of these. So it must be over... Ah, here it is. So let's get the fire dragon on. I'm not going to go for a bailer quite yet. Um, because I would like to go for a square bailer. Um, <coughs> at least for no, not even for silage. I can I can use the far dragon for silage. Why did I just say square beta for silage? I was gonna say round beta for silage. Um, a square beta at least for straw and hay. I was gonna I was kind of half thinking, oh well, I could use a square uh, round beta for silage and wrap it and all that nonsense. But actually. Thinking about it, I already have the best solution for silage, which is a forage wagon. Um, I, I, I just hook it up after mowing the grass and then drawing it all up and it's sorted. Uh, the reason I've got glimpse up, number one, it lets me check the progress of the harvester, which I've told to stop every time it's unloading, because I was getting sick and tired of chasing it around the field <laughs> um, while I was trying to unload it. Uh, the second reason is the harvester will occasionally just decide, oh, I'm done halfway around the field. Um, and it has done which is why I've kind of put it on straight line duties. 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 Whatever you want to call it. Uh, straight line duty. Um, it got to the point where there was a point, there was <laughs> quite literally a point on the field where it was under the distinct impression it was finished. So I pretty much said to it, okay, you're done doing roundy roundy, now it's time for upy downy, um, get going. Lefty righty, I suppose. Easty westy. But, um, I saw a comment, there was a comment left on the first video in this series, um, saying it's a, a nice map, and I agree, I think it's one of the nicest maps there is for if not the nicest map for FS15 so far, and um, I'm really hoping NI modding comes out with something, uh, not NI modding specifically, but some group of modders 
um, some mod team or even one modder comes out with more maps like this. Because the reason I chose this map for this specific format is because I know I'm going to be on it for a while and I want some maps that, well, I knew I was going to like for a while. Whisper Chills is okay. Yeah. And, um,. <coughs> You know, if it comes to the point where I've got everything I need to, to win the map, I might change the rules. You know, I reserve the right to change the rules of this series to make it even more difficult for myself, if, if needs be, because with the mods I have and even the default stuff, it does kind of take away a lot of the challenge. I mean, the only real challenge there is is I've got four days before I can... for five days because of the... Uh, I, can't plant directly. Um, I can't plant right now. I can't plant in this game day. But I won't need to because I've got 40 plus thousand. And now you're saying, no, you don't. You've got 36,000. No, I don't. Um, I think once I hit 100k, which could easily be in this in game day, because we still are on day one. Um, just in case you missed the little annotation of it at the start, we're still on day one. Um, I thought it'd be nice just to have, you know, what in-game day we're on as well. For the sake of unnecessary detail or whatnot. Um, so we haven't actually gone that far. We've been on the map for, and I'll tell you now, um, do, 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 do. Where is the time played? Three hours. And most of that, as you know, has been off screen, so I've played a good two and a half. Not two and a half hours. Good two hours off screen. Um, which doesn't seem like a lot, but you, you need to remember I'm not on. I, this isn't the only game that I play. I play quite a few games for quite a few reasons, most of them for my own entertainment, some of them um, partially research for uh, the game that I'm helping to develop at the moment, which you'll be learning more about that in the near future, I believe. I'm led to believe. Um, but yeah, I, I don't have much free time at all. I've been playing a lot of Star Trek Online, I've been in meetings, I've been drawing up documents and trying to think up different things that we could use and things like that. And I'm intentionally being vague, but you know, we have... I don't have my fingers in a lot of pots. But the pots are quite big, and they try to eat my fingers. <laughs> so, yeah. And I'm recording late today because of reasons. Irish Water, the... Uh, <coughs> the contractors for Irish Water, Ishka Aaron, with the world's most ridiculous priced logo. Something like 30,000 euros per letter. Um, we're in today installing our water meter, which I think is unnecessary, and just a cheap ploy by the government to try and get more tax money in, because I know for sure that's going to go into general taxation, not into Irish water. Um, I would argue that the Irish water is actually illegally funded. It's um, got illegal uh, state um, support. If it is as the government is claiming that it is an independent company. Uh, Semi-state is is getting illegal state state aid, um, but that's just my opinion. That's it. I am anti-water charge. If anybody Irish is watching and you know you know you know what that means, um, for anybody else, Ireland historically has never had a charge for tap water, and it's being brought in as part of the bailout that was happened a few years ago, where Ireland essentially ran out of money because a group of corrupt bankers ruined the country. It sounds like I'm 
you know, was it the 99% or whatever? No, I'm not an Occupy dude. I'm just a realist, um, and I'm stating facts. A group of corrupt bankers ruined Ireland. My combine harvesters got off on a little tour. Where's it going? <laughs> okay, you, you do that, I guess. Um, but, um, um, as, as I was saying, <laughs> before I was distracted by my combine harvesters going to walk about. Um, basically, the Irish financial system was wrong, entirely wrong, for years and years and years, and it didn't matter because I had a lot of money coming in because it. reasons. I don't understand. And eventually the bubble burst and the Celtic Tiger got shot in the face with a bazooka and Ireland went broke very quickly. And we're recovering now. God. Thank your deities if you don't believe in a specific god. And if you don't believe in God at all, uh, like me, thank Passage of time. I don't know what to say. Um, <laughs> so I'm kind of confused because normally, if oh, I've gone the wrong way entirely. Normally, if um, I have Firefox open, which I do at the moment, farm some legs horribly because um, I don't know if it's specifically my computer or Firefox. It just doesn't like it. It just, just no. Nope. I was on Skype yesterday with a couple of guys that I'm not going to come again, and a couple of links were sent, and I was just like, hang on, five minutes, Firefox has crashed again, I'll eventually see what you've linked to me. Um, I'm just going to move, because my knee's starting to yeah. Ooh, that's not very nice. Uh, Okay. Gain composure. Um Yeah. I, I have been looking at new mods by the way. I, I haven't just said, oh well I've got sixty mods now, I'm done with getting new mods. Um no, I've been kind of going through them daily. Um, ls2015.com, ls2015.com, FSUK, Mod Hoster, and the Farms in Mod Hub, and just. There have been one or two that have caught my eye, but for various reasons. Be it I don't trust the scripts they're using, or I did download it. If you looked at the precise right time today, Today is the 6th of March. If you looked at it for about, I would guess a 10 or 15 minute period, I actually had an extra mod in my mod list. Uh, it was a John Deere 3650, I believe. Um, because I wanted one of the 36 series, I wanted one of the 3000 series. Um, that was from LS2015. I'm actually going to double check what tractor it was now. Because I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it was a John Deere 3650. That was correct. Um, and it looked good, it looked really nice in the pictures. And the scripts were okay. I don't know how they got. No, I don't know how they got Plows back on, because as far as I'm aware, that script hasn't actually been released yet. They got it on. Um, the issue I found with it? Well, <laughs> there's the game stopping up because I had to look at Firefox. Um, hopefully this is not there we go. The issue I found with it, the big issue, and it might not seem like that big of an issue to you, but it was for me. Um, there were two, actually. One, the textures were eh. Just very pixely mess as opposed to the nice high-res stuff we have now in FS15 
and I would have used it in FS13, the 3650 I downloaded, but I want, I would like high quality mods, and the texture just wasn't good enough. Uh, the second and the more important reason um, I didn't keep it was it, it was very floaty. Um, I gave it a bit of a drive around with the keyboard and the mouse because I didn't have my Xbox controller in hand at that time. And it just kind of wobbled its way around. And the camera wasn't fixed, it was wobbling with the tractor, and it... <laughs> there are problems that I could possibly fix if I had the time and the knowledge, but I have... Realistically, I've got neither. I might be able to get the time together over the, couple, over the space of a few days or even weeks, but the knowledge escapes me. And that's where I fall flat on my face when it comes to mod editing. I can um, change capacities to things relatively easily. I took the... what was that last? Uh, 2013. I think it was the Profi Hopper Girls that could go like... 30 miles an hour mowing. And had a ridiculous capacity of 50,000. Um, I edited that to have a capacity of 500,000 so that I could fill a biogas bunker in the pass. Also because I was using that exclusively for grass mowing missions on many maps that have grass mowing missions and it was really comical just watching them. Um, I essentially watched the missions and global on themselves because they were so easy. Uh, now I just have to do something. Get up. Uh, come up here. Okay, so I'm gonna be <laughs> using this line as a kind of uh, I need to get back up to the top now. It's not even gonna get, you let me get up there. I'm like gonna run out of space in this thing. Um, I was using the Profi Apple Girls, or as I renamed it, the Cheaty Apple, which I finally figured out how to change the in-game stuff for it. Um, maps I find are a bit easier to edit, like names of maps. And credits and that, very easy to edit. Um, that's why when I was doing my map spotlights, I came down quite harshly on people who had sample mod map as their map name. Um, that's because it's literally one line in one XML file you have to change to get the map name to appear. So I wasn't, um, I wasn't best pleased with that. I'm just not happy. Last best, you know. I don't care how good a map is. I don't care how well detailed it is. If you're not gonna put the time in to change the name of the map, I ain't gonna play it because it is literally a ten-second job. Well, it's actually how quickly can you type uh, the name of your map? Uh, it's not that hard. You know, I was talking while I was doing the map spotlights, which I'm, I'm discontinuing. Uh, number one, because I don't have enough time, and number two, because the amount of maps I had was starting to crash the game um, quite significantly. I know I could put in maps temporarily or take them out again, but uh, not my style. I want to keep good maps. Um, but the amount of maps that just struck me as being lazy. Uh, the, the third reason, actually, is looking through the maps on the map spotlight. Um, I was I was kind of disheartened at the amount of people who made really good maps, but didn't take ten seconds to actually put a name on the. Um, map selection screen. So if you've got multiple of these maps like I did, I, ca I don't know what map I'm going for. Some of them didn't even have thumbnails, which was just annoying. Um, yeah, I... And the second thing was just the amount of broken textures and... 
and um, people who never updated the shaders and people who had out of date stuff and out of date textures and the files are the wrong format and the wrong size. When you're going through maps like I was, I was looking at two, th two or three maps a day at one stage, and you just see bad map after bad map. It kind of starts putting you off the game as a whole because you know the modders are supposed to, well, giants are supposed to be better than the modders. We all know that's not true. The modders come out with far better. Um, tractors, equipment, and maps and giants ever will. Um, the issue really is people who. I'm gonna finish off this thought before I end the episode because it is one I want to get across. People who make maps and put them up on, you know, Mod Host, Stratus 2015, to a lesser extent, FSUK, FSUK, that's all the mods anyway. But people who put up maps on those sites and put their names on them. Why do you put your name on something that's just not good? The Czech discotheque map, the Czech map that was just... just blue. None of the textures worked. And somebody genuinely put their name on that? I get that people make mistakes. I get that I'm not saying... Yeah, I'm in. I'm not saying I'm infallible. You've seen the amount of mistakes I've made. You've all seen the amount of mistakes I've made um, because I don't cut them out. I cut out when there's a failure of some description, um, whether it's my Xbox controller or my sound card or um, XSplit or OBS decides. Oh well, I'm not gonna record this bit because uh, screw you. Um, I cut them out because they're just dead air. Um, People who make maps, you're supposed to test them. Anything that goes into a game is supposed to be tested. Or anything that goes into a game should be tested. And there's a part of me that thinks that the people who made straight up converts to 2013 stuff, because that's what the vast majority of mods are at the moment, is converts to 2013 stuff, edits of FS15 stuff, and very rarely a mod comes out that's unique and new. Um, a lot of the forest stuff, forestry mods that I've seen, I've seen them in 2013. Um, they came out with the forest mod, so they're not specific to 2015. They're again just converts, which. I mean, if you're going to convert a mod, feel free. Make sure you do it well. Love God, do it well because it just infuriates me when somebody says, Oh, I'm gonna take this really good mod by, for example, in my modding. And I know this has happened because I've seen it on Facebook multiple times. I'm gonna take, because they're great trailers, the Kane trailers by NM modding, and convert them to work in 2015. Great, do that. Oh, they don't work. Oh, well, I'm gonna release them anyway. Okay. Um, no, that's not what you do. What you do is you give them to... Well, you don't release them for one because it's intellectual property theft. You're literally stealing their work and claiming it is your own. It's, it's... I would say it's plagiarism, but plagiarism involves some sort of copying. You're just stealing their work, putting maybe one new texture on it and then claiming it's yours. And I've seen a few... I'm going to keep going for a, little, for a bit longer than usual. Um, I've seen a few fights on Facebook over this of um, people who have converted trailers and maps and tractors and then claim that their private mod was stolen uh, because they released it openly on Facebook and then it was posted to um, you know one of the unscrupulous mod sites that I don't use 
I have used one of them for like one mod. Um, but and then the, the worst thing, the thing that really just irks me the most is they go around then and because I'm a member of a few groups on Facebook that do farm sim stuff. Um, I'm not an active member, but I am a member. They, they go around and they say, Oh, well, they stole my mod, he stole my mod, he stole my mod. Okay, what was the mod? Well, it was a convert of the NI modding mod. Then he didn't steal your mod, you stole their mod, and they put your name on it. All you did was change a couple of things in the XML. And maybe put a bit of gloss on it. Which, I, as, as far as I know, is, is actually quite easy. Um, in the Giant's Editor. I've edited mods. I've told you about the, the mod I edited. And the one mod that I ever edited was 100% private. If I do it again, if I find a mod that I really like, let's say if it's from trailer, and I think the capacity is a bit big, I'll edit the capacity down, and it'll be a private for me only mod, but I will show you guys how to do it. So if you want, you can have an identical mod. Or you can make the capacity a billion for all I care. I'm not going to release any mods I edit. I have mad respect for modders because I wanted to be on for a period. You know that if you followed my channel since the start. Um, time constraints and complete inability. Oh, didn't know I could fall in there. Time constraints and complete inability to do it. Um, kind of put page to that. I will try to get something else done though. Um, I have a few things that I would like to do. Uh, in the future, <laughs> not even gonna say in the near future or the distant future. It at literally some point, I would like to do then. I'd like to do some other things. Um, before I go, because I, I just remembered, I told you about this, but I never showed it, and um, it's probably good that I show it. I'm gonna press Control P, and this is the. Um, it's called the vehicle rental mod. It's actually the machinery rent, well, the, the machinery rental mod. Um, but you can rent anything. So here's the, for example, Quad Track 620, thirty thousand per day to rent. And then here are even the mods. The thirty six fifty is still there. I thought I deleted it. Um, not a good mod. Oh, I forgot to delete it from a mods folder. That's what happened. And then front loaders, it has, as I said, the modded front loaders, which is nice. The trucks, well, the single truck. Harvesters, again, all the mods are here. It's, I was, uh, I went to test this and was like, I wonder if the mods will show up. Yes, yes, they do. Um, header trailers, harvesters, again, IT runner stuff. The, oh, is there... Tr there is a trailer missing here. That's odd. Now I'm gonna have to check. That's there. That's there. Didn't spot that before. The um, Marshall Tipper trailer doesn't appear. I'm just going to double check that because. I thought I'd. <laughs> IT runner. Bergman HGW65. Yeah, there is no Marshall Tipper. You cannot rent the Marshall Tipper, but you can click rent. This is for um, Aldridge, for the seeds, and you can, let's say if I wanted to rent a baler, square baler, if I wanted to rent the big baler 1290 for 10 days, it would come to 102,400. So if we go into the main shop, there's a reason I'm doing this, we look at the big baler 1290, it's 128,000. So actually you could get a bit of benefit from renting now and then for uh, one reasonably long period. Um, we'll say if you know for a fact that you're going to get enough money to buy the actual baler afterwards, I think it's worth renting for, you know, two days, two, three days. Buy the baler afterwards, you've got your square bales, your cows are happy, and all that good stuff. 
So, um, I've been nattering on for half an hour now. I think including my intro, because I've, I've worked it out roughly. Um, so I'm going to say I've been Rainbow Dave, you've been watching Farming Simulator 15 on Banticow. Hope I said Banticow at the start, because I might have said Aldridge. I've just realised that now. <laughs> um, please comment, like and subscribe, because every YouTuber wants you to, and it is so helpful. Um, I will see you next time when we'll probably be still working on the field. I'm not going to record another episode today because I have other things to do. Um, thank you very, very much for watching. And until I see you again, which will be an Aldridge farm tomorrow, and that's already recorded, so, ha, I already know. Um, yeah, I have alternating days between the farms, just so that it's kind of breaking stuff up for me and breaking stuff up for you guys. And it gives you something to think about. <laughs> uh, until I see you again, stay safe and goodbye. <laughs>